Hello everyone. So for this video here, we're going to talk about how to create a contact list for your Outlook email. So instead of writing uh, everybody's email on the to section of your in, of your uh, new email, uh, especially if it's emails for people that you send messages to all the time, this will make your life a lot easier, a lot more efficient. So what we're going to do in the main inbox section on the uh, left hand side we're going to go to the section that says people we're going to go ahead and click on that and we'll see that we have it set to all contact lists right now and I don't have any contact lists in here so what we'll do is click this down arrow and we will create a new contact list and I'll click on that right now so let's just assume that for this example that I have a group of students uh, in my class this year that I want to create an uh, email contact list for that way if I have to message them all at once I can do that right now so we're gonna call it student emails and we are gonna add those email addresses right now so go ahead and type in student uh, one nine nine three at gmail.com and then student two nine nine three at gmail.com so let's just assume that I have those two e uh, students only in my class and I can add as many as I will like. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click create. So now every time that in the to section, I include student emails, my message will go automatically to both students. So let's go ahead and jump into this example right now. All right, so I'm back in my brand new email and instead of writing all of those student email names, I'm just gonna go ahead and input the name of the contact list I just created. So student, emails there's that one there I'm gonna go ahead and click on that now what's nice about this is that if it's one of those messages where you don't have to send to every single one of those students but a good chunk of them this still saves us time but hitting this plus sign it expands the contact list with all the emails attached to it so maybe instead of student, uh, student one and student two receiving this email it's only going to student two so I can click this X to remove student one and now this message is only going to student two. So that makes your life a lot easier uh, and it just uh, makes it a lot more efficient for you to work with. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like and subscribe and hope to see you all soon. Thanks so much.